You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And you have made us into a kingdom, priests for our God. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Nice to see you all on this beautiful morning, and we welcome all of those who are watching through the internet. And today's Mass is being offered for a wonderful woman who died recently, and she died from the coronavirus, Dorothy Cuevas. So as we come to pray for Dorothy, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the prayer of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Please bow your heads and pray in silence for Dorothy Cuevas. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood may have life through you and under your protection rejoice forever in harm through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles when Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him, and by condemning him they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death, and when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers he has brought to fulfillment for us, their children, by raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed, take warning, you rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him. With trembling, rejoice. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were none, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. The first reading today, we see Paul and Barnabas in the synagogue, and basically they sum up the history of salvation. God chose a people, and in the fullness of time, he sent his only son, who came out of love, but because people were not open to receiving him, they put him to death, but God raised him to life, and now Paul and Barnabas have gone to the Jewish people to ask them to repent and to accept Jesus, but they take offense at what they're saying. And because they take offense, and because they've closed their hearts to Jesus, the next move for Barnabas and Paul will go to the Gentiles. It's a historic move because the emphasis will be on bringing Jesus to the world. And since this incident, that's been the emphasis ever since. Because that's what Catholic means. Jesus came for all people and all times. And all are welcome in the family of God. The only requirement to be in the Catholic Church is to be a sinner in need of a Savior. And the psalm today sums it up so well. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You know, we are all children of God. Those who accept Jesus are empowered to become children of God. That's an awesome dignity. And because of that dignity, we live forever. Jesus told us in this farewell discourse, do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God, have faith in me. Isn't that the message we need to hear during this coronavirus? Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in God, have faith in me. What's the worst that can happen to you? is that you get the coronavirus and you die. And where do you go? Heaven. There are many rooms in my father's house. Like if heaven is half as good as they say it is, it should be worth going there. I mean, St. Paul in trying to describe heaven, he said, no eye can see, no ear can hear. Now can we begin to imagine how wonderful heaven is that God has prepared for us? So what are we to do? We are to follow the way. Who is the way? Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Let us now pray the prayers of the faith. Let us pray for Dorothy Cuevas, a wonderful woman who died from the coronavirus and had other health complications. May God grant her eternal rest and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the doctors, the nurses, the healthcare workers, all those trying to keep people safe. And we remember especially all those doing research. May the Holy Spirit inspire them to find a vaccination or a cure for this coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. There are so many other illnesses that take so many lives. Things like Parkinson's, kidney disease, Crohn's disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, chemical imbalances. May the Lord inspire the researchers to find cures for these terrible human scourges. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Many people are traveling today. They've asked for special prayers. We ask God to line the highways with his angels so that the travelers can get safely to their destinations. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all the faithful departed, remembering especially David Trutel, faithful member of our church. May God grant him eternal rest and peace. 
we pray to the Lord. Amen. For our leaders, may all the world leaders work together to spare no effort to find the cure for this coronavirus and to get people back to work and to help all people enjoy a decent livelihood. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause now and present our own personal needs to God. Almighty God, thank you for this day and all its opportunities. Fill us with your light. Guide us. Help us to remember our dignity, that we're children of God destined for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ your Son as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father, and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name, and sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Justin the Martyr lived from the year 100 to 165 AD, and he was a great defender of the faith. If you read the New Catechism of the Catholic Church, he gives a description of how the Mass was in his time, very like how the Mass is today. And, and his faith in the Eucharist is spectacular. And this is what he said. We call this food Eucharist, and no one is permitted to partake of it, except one who believes our teaching to be true, and has been washed in the washing, which is for the remission of sins and for regeneration, we call baptism, and is thereby living as Christ has enjoined. For not as common bread nor common drink do we receive these, but since Jesus Christ our Savior was made incarnate by the Word of God and has bought flesh and blood for our salvation, so too, as we have been taught, the food which has been made into the Eucharist by the Eucharistic prayer, set down by Him, and by the change of which our blood and flesh is nourished, is both the flesh and blood of that incarnated Jesus. We do not receive these as common bread and common drink, we have been taught that the food which is blessed by the prayer of his word, and from which our blood and flesh by transmutation are nourished, is the flesh and blood of that Jesus who has made flesh. Isn't that beautiful? And that was the early belief of the apostles, 
And they say the biggest crisis in the church today is lack of faith in the real presence of Christ in the Eucharist. You're indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we're gathered by his love and when his once for his disciples are now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now and unto the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope and Louis our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters, inspiring us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face, and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Martyrs, with Saint Stephen, Saint William, Saint Anne, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses, as we forgive those and give us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. O the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace, peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that they should have done my word, but I only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. After spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now for our aid, please. Good morning. Good morning. Last week, Saul went from Jerusalem to Jamaica to Jamaica. Damascus <laughs> to bring back those who believed in Jesus in chains. Here he is, I don't know how long it was, but it, with us it's only a week later, and he's standing up in the synagogue telling these people that the Jewish people, the leaders, crucified the Savior. And, and they still didn't want to accept. But actually, you and I should be a, 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 little, a little happy that they didn't uh, accept his word because he went to the Gentiles. Hello, Gentiles. <laughs> That's what we are. So Jesus came for us. But, you know, I wonder. These people who believed in Jesus... They had to, they, I mean, they had to be afraid. A lot of them died violent deaths. And here we are, we, we come each morning and praise God and praise Jesus, who is God. And we do it openly. And we, our friends, where were you yesterday, Mom? I went to church. Would, would we be as blatant and proud of what we do if we had to hide and if we were afraid that someone was going to come up and maybe kill us? That, that's what Saul did. And then, he, you see, Jesus saw something in Saul. He was really adamant about what he was doing. He thought these Jesus people were really bad. And then when he found out they weren't, he fought just as hard for them and for Jesus as he did before. I wonder if Jesus sees that in us. And poor Thomas. Thomas, Thomas got a bad rap. I mean, really. The guy wasn't there when Jesus came and said, Peace be with you, and showed them that he had risen from the dead. And Thomas said, I don't believe that. Uh -uh, come on. And here Thomas says, Lord, we don't know if you're going to Florida or if you're going to Texas. Come on, tell us where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus gave us and him the word then. I am the way. Jesus is the way. That's why we're here. That's why we worship and adore 
our Savior. Thank God he did it for us. He did it for me. He did it for you. But I've always been told that if I was the only sinner in the world, Jesus still would have done it. So if you were the only sinner in the world, Jesus still would have done it because he loves us that much. Amen. Amen. Very good, R.N. In keeping with the gospel message, it says, two buddies, Bob and Aaron, were two of the biggest baseball fans in the United States. Their entire adult life, Bob and Aaron discussed baseball history in the winter and the poured over every box score during the season. They went to 60 games a year. They even agreed that whoever died first would try to come back and tell the other if there was baseball in heaven. One summer night, Bob passed away in his sleep after watching the Braves' victory earlier in the evening. He died happy. A few nights later, his buddy Earl awoke to the sound of Bob's voice from beyond. Bob, is that you, Earl? asked. Of course it's me, Bob replied. This is unbelievable, Earl exclaimed. So tell me, is there baseball in heaven? Well, I have good news and some bad news for you. Which do you want first? Well, tell me the good news first. Well, the good news is, yes, there is baseball in heaven. Oh, that is wonderful. So how could it possibly be bad news? You're pitching tomorrow evening. <laughs> so be ready, you'll never know when you're pitching. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for listening in. Be safe, wash your hands, and stay away from people. You all have a good day. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. Hey, this is Father Paddy, and I wanted to let you know you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and be notified anytime we put up a new video. Click on the subscription button and the little bell and you will be notified that a new video is uploaded. Thank you for watching. Amen. Hallelujah.